Hi, welcome to Cooking with Dad. I'm your host, Manny, and today we're going to be cooking a traditional Portuguese meal along with my daughter, Jacqueline, and my younger son, Tom. So we're going to get started on some terrific Portuguese recipes that we normally cook together as a family, and we're going to get started with the dessert, actually, up front to prepare it and get it going, and then we'll get going in, in, into the meal, which is a bacalhau dinner and also a kale soup, which is very Portuguese uh, traditional soup. So, Dad, why are we going to do the strawberries first? Well, we're going to do the strawberries first because we want to make the strawberries happy. We're going to marinate them with a little bit of port wine, which is tradition, you know, like, like Vo used to make. When we go over to Vo's house, she puts a little wine and puts it in the refrigerator and it soaks it up a little bit and it makes them tasty. So, I'll so go good. ahead and grab the strawberries. Yeah. You want to do that, Jackie? Why don't yeah. you dice them up? We'll, we'll take some of that. What's this? We got a little port wine here. We'll do that. And if you can take some of those strawberries and, you know, Slice them just in half? Yeah, we're going to cut them just in half today, take the, the green off, and then we'll put them in a bowl and, uh, and uh, put a little bit of port wine in it. Actually, you can just leave them right in there and put the port wine in there. You can put okay. a little sugar on it if you want. Sprinkle a little sugar? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, then we'll just put them in the refrigerator. They'll sit there, and, and by the time we're done with dinner, they'll be, they'll be perfect for us. Hey, Tom, we're going to have you started with the kale soup. We're going to do, uh, you know, start with the onions. Put a little bit of onions in there. Just a little handful with the, with the olive oil. Put the olive oil first and uh, get this onion sauteed a little bit. We want to saute the onions a little bit, get them uh, uh, just cooking a little bit so they soften up and then we'll put a little broth in there and the potatoes and get that potato, uh, potato uh, broth going like we like. How am I doing How are you doing here? over there? <laughs> hey, they look pretty good over there. Let's move them up a little bit. Yeah. Is that enough wine? I'd put, I'd put a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah, absolutely. We want to keep those, those strawberries nice and happy. You know, they, a little bit of wine makes mm -hmm. them happy. They'll, they'll go in there. They'll, Go into the refrigerator. You put a little sugar on it. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Right. I put like two pinches. Yeah, yeah. We'll a little put bit more. We'll put a little bit more. Or wine sweet enough. A little bit. <laughs> Yeah, port wine sweet enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll put this right in the refrigerator over here, and we'll uh, get that going a little bit. Yeah, okay, good. How you doing, Tom? Not bad. I put a little more olive oil in there. Let's turn the heat up a little bit. Get those. Uh, get those onions cooking a little bit, and we'll let them cook a little bit. And what we have to do. Now with the kale soup, we have to prepare the kale, and, and we don't put the kale in the soup until we serve it later on. But we have to prepare it, and typically we take the kale. Tom, can you hand me a little bit, of, a couple of bunches of that kale? We don't need it all. You want me to start cutting? It yeah, well, yeah. You ever do, you ever cut it up like this? You know how we do it? If it if no, do you want to show me first? Yeah, listen. You just put it out like that. So and what right. you do is you, you you hold it together like that so it's nice and tight, and that way you can slice it up nice and thin. And typically we just cut it, that piece right off. And then we want to cut it up real thin like that, almost paper thin pieces like that. Okay, and, just, and you don't use this? We're not, we'll just discard that. We want to okay. use the nice thin pieces, cut me a bunch all the way back like that, and we'll, then we'll just put that aside and we'll add it to the soup later. Right, How's that looking good. over there, Tom? Not bad. You're uh, going turn the heat a little bit. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. Onions uh, caramelizing a little bit? Yeah. I got the one over there. Yeah, okay, good. What we can do now is uh, we can add a little bit of broth to it. Uh, while you have, we have a little bit of broth, we pre-prepared a little bit of broth. Now you can either add a little bit of water to it, or what we, we're using a little bit of a chicken stock, a little chicken broth over here, add, give it a little bit of flavor. So add just a little, not too much. A little bit more. Looking good. Yeah, actually, yeah, you can, yeah, you can actually put some more. Yeah, I'd put it all. Go ahead, go ahead, put it all. Do I cut yeah. it all the way down? Or yeah, do I leave like? Yeah, that's good. We don't want to use the stems. We can discard the stems. All right. And uh, actually, that looks pretty good. If you can get a little container, a little cup to put that in, and then we'll do that. We'll add some potatoes in there, Tom. Into the soup? Yep. We, again, we pre boil the potatoes. Add, add several potatoes in there. We wanted to give this a nice uh, creamy potato consistency here. It's a potato based soup. So we we'll add the potatoes. Just take, take the whole thing. Just We'll turn up the heat, get it nice and hot. And again, we pre-boil these potatoes to give us a little bit of time. Typically, you put it in there and you, you boil them up. And uh, yeah, get the flavor. Yeah, and, yeah, get the flavor out of them and, and give it a nice uh, potato consistency. What we're going to do here is, uh, you know, get this nice and hot. We're going to get the soup nice and hot, the broth nice and hot. And we want to speed it up a little bit here, so we're going to uh, puree them ourselves with a little blender here. You got the blender, Tom? Now you can use a potato masher, and the, and the consistency of, of your base is what is what you like. Some people like it 
real smooth. Some people like to have little lumps in it, just like mashed potatoes. So I like it, I like it a little bit lumpy. Hey, Tom, that's looking pretty good. That, that's a nice consistency here. Why don't you put the lid on it? We'll move it to the back, let it simmer a little bit. That way it'll be nice and hot when it's time to uh, serve it. Looking great. Good job. Um, looking good too, Jackie. That looking nice. I have like um, yeah, a few more potatoes. A few more? Yeah. yeah. You know we like, like, we like, we like, we like the potatoes in our meal. We're going to get going with the bacalao. And uh, again, bacalao is a pretty traditional Portuguese meal. There's a lot of different ways to cook it. You can boil it, which is very traditional. They, they bake it in the oven, a lot of different. There's about 100 different recipes you can do with bacalao in, in the Portuguese tradition. What we're going to do today is we're going to prepare it in a skillet. And we're going to put some, uh, some onions in there and olive oil. Again, olive oil is pretty much a basis for just about uh, all of our sauteing and we have to we use uh, a good extra virgin uh, olive oil. So why do you have to use extra virgin olive oil? Well, the extra virgin olive oil, again, is, is in the Portuguese tradition, the extra virgin olive oil has a much richer flavor and it gives them, uh, the flavor, that, the consistency that we're looking for. So it tastes like, you know, when Vaal used to make it at home, and how she makes it at home, we want it to taste just like Vaal makes at home. So you have it right over there, Tom, why don't you put some of that. Again, we're using a Portuguese olive oil over here. You can tell it's a good virgin, extra virgin olive oil from the color. Extra virgin olive oil has a kind of a, a greenish tint to it. And we, we look for that when we go and buy it. So that looks good. We'll turn up the Let's heat a little bit. Onions, yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. Some onions. We saute the onions in olive oil. Actually, I put a little bit more olive oil too. We want a, we want a, a good layer of olive oil in there because we're going we're gonna to be uh, uh, sauteing it in the skillet. So we need enough olive oil to also cook the bucket out. How's those potatoes, Jackie? Good. When do you um, put them into the dish? As soon as the, we get it hot enough, we can put we can put the potatoes in there, and we're going to cook everything together in the skillet. Uh, just about. We're going to have we're going to put the potatoes in there, and we're going to put some uh, some peppers in there for color, and uh, uh, and we'll just saute them in there, and we'll put the bucket out. That looks good. You know what we ought to do to that? We need to give that a little bit of color. Color? Yeah, absolutely. We have some uh, paprika. Oh, uh, perfect. Yeah, that's what we use. A little paprika again. We use a, a little bit of paprika. We can. Yeah, sprinkle it on yeah, before you. Yeah, put a little bit on there. We can give it a little bit of color. And, like a pinch. Yeah, just spread it all over the place there. And uh, yeah, good, good. A little bit more. We'll put it in there. Then we'll add some more in there. Tom, um, you ready for that? Oh yeah. Okay, let's put it in there. Let's let's. Yeah. Okay. Hey Tom. Thinker. Can you yeah. Hold it? Yeah. yeah. There you go. So that's looking good. We do need some more heat on there though. We can figure out how to turn this on high. Yeah, bathe it in olive oil. So the olive oil is going to get nice and hot and it's going to start cooking the potatoes and it really won't take that long if you have your olive oil nice and hot. It'll, uh, it'll, it'll start baking the potatoes and we'll put our bucket out in there. Put some more in there. We want, we want to get it nice and thick. Yeah, and turn the heat up. Good. That's what we're going we're gonna to prepare our, bu our bucket out. Again, it, it, bacalao is, is a salt codfish, and it, you can buy it in, in large portions. You can get the whole bacalao, and it's, it comes uh, pre-salted or, or dried salted, and you have to soak it overnight uh, to rehydrate it. So you so put it in water, it, the, the salts come out, it brings it back to its fish consistency so that we can cook it. So we're, we're going to take the bucket out now and we're going to portion it up into serving size portions and everybody has their different portions that they like, different sizes. What size do you like? I like the small. Like, I like them small? small. Okay. Yep. So we're going to do that. Tom, what about you? I like them bigger. You yeah. like them bigger. All right. So we'll cut it up a little bit. And Medium size. So why do you soak the fish overnight? Well, we, again, it, it's, it's all... That it was it's preserved in the old tradition. They they uh, fish the cod out in the out in the, in the ocean and the, and then they have to and preserve it. They didn't have refrigerators back then, so they salt it and preserve it that way. And the salt is a natural preservative, so they uh, uh, you have to soak it to draw the salt out. Otherwise, it'll be too salty. And of course, this is uh, Jackie's uh, My favorite Jackie's dish. favorite dish. And that's one of the reasons why we're cooking it today. Tom, how's that for you? Okay, good. Why don't you take that, stick it right in the olive oil, make, make a little room in there. 